Hi there, this is Adafa Nebaut and in this video I am going to uh, give you a camera review of uh, Lenovo A6000 Plus. But wait, where did this study came from? What did I even keep it there? Well, let's uh, not look into that thing. I actually kept it to bounce the light off from there. So, so now, uh, I will also be using this one as a prototype to test the autofocus of the camera. Now let's uh, see the camera features here. So this is the camera app of Lenovo A6000 Plus. It's really cool. But before that, let's look at the camera features of this smartphone. Uh, there is an 8 megapixel CMOS sensor rear camera here. It has an autofocus support. Then there is a powerful LED flash here with a noise reduction. Uh, it is really helpful to have a noise reduction now then uh, there is this one uh, the front camera the front camera is 2 megapixel and uh, it is a fixed focus camera now let's move into the camera app and see in the camera app in detail what it has to offer and what does not offer so as soon as you open the camera app you can see that the camera is really very simple and uh, does not have any flashy things it uh, tries to auto focus by itself this one uh, is a uh, epic smartphone with epic uh, you know, performance so you can see uh, that the camera autofocus it's uh, autofocuses itself really very fast now i'm going to use terry to do the autofocus uh, the uh, studio light is falling on the on the terry and terry is really large so i have to keep it uh, like this and you can see that it is autofocusing it's uh, very fast Okay. Well, it is performing really well. Now let's do that to the to its mouth. Hmm. The autofocus is fast and it's not confusing. Now let's select one some portion and let's see. Well, it is uh, doing good. Now let's keep the teddy aside and uh, go further deep into the camera. You can see. Uh, let's first start from the. Uh, 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 the upper right corner of this smartphone you can see that they have provided you with the HDR and you can see that they have provided you with the flash option with the use of that you can turn on the on the flash or, or turn off the flash as you wish then there is this uh, uh, camera switcher you can use that to switch your camera either uh, you can use a uh, front camera or you can use the rear camera now let's move to the this uh, setting uh, option here which is uh, on the upper left corner and let us click there and see what it has to offer now the first thing it offers is the general settings it has the uh, scene mode here with the scene mode you can select whatever mode you need and it has plenty of them it has a uh, flower black light candlelight sports uh, fireworks steady photo snow bees theater night portrait landscape portrait asd party sunset night action and then of course these auto so this one is a feature rich camera out uh, right there so now let's move further and see the next thing that it has to offer first let us close uh, this one the second uh, this uh, is the GPS so it uh, gives you store location so it does that then there is this uh, picture size uh, you can select the size of the picture you can go from 8 megapixels to almost uh, the VGA and uh, and whatever size you want now the options are plenty it has histogram so you can enable that if you want then there is picture quality uh, currently it is set so uh, super fine uh, set it super fine so when you take uh, for taking photograph you have to check that it is uh, set at super fine if it is not set at super fine just do that now if you need jpg 100 just you can uh, do uh, whatever you want you can uh, select uh, less quality jpg and save the uh, space on your memory card but why would you want to do that so just keep it off i uh, and there is this ZSL, I don't know what that ZSL means, but there is a, a Quantum Timer. So you can uh, take for your own photos 
by using using countdown countdown timer then there is uh, beep during countdown so it is currently on so if uh, uh, the countdown is going on then there is uh, uh, there will be beep so store position is phone right now i have not installed a sd card there so there is no chance that uh, it uh, will go to the sd card so remember this smartphone has a 16 uh, gb of inbuilt memory so there is no uh, doubt that uh, there is no need for sd card at all then there is this continuous short facility so by selecting this one you can take continuous shots as you want now this one is auto hdr if this one is turned off so you can turn on turn it on if you want hdr to be auto then focus sound you can see that uh, right now it is focusing by itself and it is making sound so i can turn that off if i want to then there are there is one option that is to, to restore default if you messed up with some settings and you want um, the camera to be behave uh, like it used to in the first place then you have to restore it to the default now this is exclusive photo settings here you get to select the themes you get to select the filters and all that here you can see that it is has color effect and uh, it has plenty of them uh, if i keep reading all of these then the, the time won't be sufficient then there is face destruction you can turn it on you can turn it off uh, it is depends on uh, you so right now it's turned on and i would like to keep it on or no, turned on only then this uh, is there is touch autofocus which means that yes when i was touching uh, to the to the parts of the uh, smartphone uh, pointing finger at the uh, teddy bear then that was uh, auto focusing to the part that i touched so this is really great selectable zone auto focus so now it has zone auto focus so this is what it uh, supports so spot metering center weight and frame average uh, not worth uh, you my use so i will uh, neglect that now the next are saturation level contrast level you can adjust this one you have sharpness you have uh, uh, select auto exposure mode so you have a lot of feature on this smartphone this uh, smartphone is really feature rich not in terms of hardware but also in terms of uh, the uh, inbuilt uh, inbuilt stuff also so then the, you have this uh, another settings this one uh, you can do anti banding now you keep always keep it at 50 hertz you don't need uh, 60 hertz in India so you keep uh, 50 hertz then you have uh, ISO selection now you have the ability to select uh, the uh, light response of the smartphone it up supports up to ISO 800 you need a little bit of knowledge about ISO to learn what ISO so is so until and then just keep it auto it selects the iso by itself if you know if you used the dslrs before and you know how uh, what iso what different sites so brings uh, then uh, you can go ahead and use as uh, iso selection then there is this uh, wave lay denoise mode uh, i don't know what this does but uh, it is currently on and it is better not to play with that then there is this exposure option then there is this white balance uh, you can uh, adjust the white balance of this uh, smartphone now there is this focus mode you have three focus modes here you have infinity you have macro you have normal you have caf uh, the one that i would be using in this one is either normal or either macro mode macro is good for taking photographs of butterflies flowers and other stuff so the, it has provided there uh, then there is a uh, red eye reduction when you're using flash then sometimes you notice the, that uh, there is a red dot uh, in your eyes and that uh, is red eye and uh, this option will reduce the uh, red eye that it uh, develops now uh, you may be thinking that uh, this smartphone does not have a video option at all by looking at the screen here then how do you bring does it even take a video or not then how does it actually work you may be thinking well it works something like this you have to hit this uh, lower button option here then it gives you three different modes it gives you a photo mode video mode and panorama mode if you want one panorama mode you can go to the panorama mode if you want video mode you can go to the video mode now let's go to the video mode and see the options available right now the flash is turned off then if you want the flash or to be on when taking video you can click on that and select the flash option then there is, there is this setting here this setting is for video 
so you can uh, select whatever setting you want it is better to keep it default so this one is image stabilization it is an electronic image stabilization uh, it helps when uh, you are shaking your camera very much then there is this time lapse option now it is good that the smartphones are now supporting time lapse then the video quality is limited to hd 720p the video formats are uh, be uh, sufficient for you they have provided a lot of videos options video encoder h2.2 uh, h.264 is selected right now you can go for uh, mpg and a lot other earlier they used to provide only 3gp format uh, which was not good at all but this uh, one has support for all uh, video formats and there is also a video encoder AAC and AMR NB are the two video encoders you look uh, you just keep the settings at default if you do not know what to do with this one uh, the, but keep the location off uh, then the phone storage is of course phone when you keep the SD card then the phone then you can uh, go for the SD card now you, you can uh, hit this to restore default now let us see what other settings the does this one has well here it has color effect so you can use color effect in video mode as well then you have white balance and you have anti-banding it is very important in video that you select a banding uh, properly otherwise what happens that you will get a flickery video now you can go for panorama mode as well with this one so this was the camera review of lenovo a6000 plus you will now see video samples if they are editable you will also see some photo samples of uh, this uh, smartphone and uh, this is it guys thanks for watching we'll meet uh, next time watch those videos and photos